Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for September 12th, 2023. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, let's just get started normally. So we have two fives in this top band here. They look into this box, this five looks up. Just a five in one of these two cells. We use a corner marks to designate that the five is limited to those two cells within this box. That's what we use corner marks for. Um, let's see. There's nothing of else repeating. I think that's all we're gonna find up there. Let's move on. There's a bunch of digits down here. So we have two threes here. That's a three in one of these two. Okay, so this five looks in and this five looks down, and that's gonna put a five in one of these two. And this is a really nice attribute of using the corner marks to designate where the number can go in the box, is these are only in row four here. And so we know that this box is gonna need a five and we know it needs it from row four, so the rest of row four can't have a five. Because if it did, we'd have two fives in the row or we'd have no fives in box six here. And so these can't be five. And then this five also says these can't be five and this five looks down. Now we can place the five in this box. It's the only place in this box that five can go. Again, it can't go up here because that would break box six. All right. Um, what else can we do here? Surprisingly little. Um, I'm looking at these formations here, like this seven, eight, this eight, four. Um, trying to see if I can find any crossings. So this doesn't find any, so it's a bad example. But what we're looking for is the row that's not involved and the two columns that are not involved and not in the box. We're looking in this row. The three and the one are not placed in this box, so they're of interest. What we're looking for is a repeated three or one in these columns. There isn't one, so not helpful. But if there was, then we'd be able to uh, do a nice marking in this box for the three or the one. We already have the three marked, but let's see. Um, I think this three five's already in there. Feels like I should be able to find something, but I guess not. Let's move on. Um, these two sixes look in, the six looks down, so there's a six in one of these two. Um, I'm interested in the seven. The seven looks down, the seven looks in. So there's a seven, one of these two. That also points. So we have these sevens looking in, the seven looks over, the seven, one of these two. It's surprising to me that there aren't more repeated digits here. We have two, three, four, five. We have the double sixes, seven, eight, and nine. Um, this cell sees almost all of those. It sees the two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it can only be one or four, which is of interest. Same with this one. This one also sees two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have a one, four pair here. So this four looks into this box. This one, four looks into this box. So four is down here. Hmm. This is going to be a triple for this box because we have the pair and we have these known. So what we don't, there's only three digits we don't know basically where they go, uh, which is the two, eight, and nine. Unfortunately, I don't see any two eights or oh the eight does look down. It's not it's not enough to do anything, but we'll mark this up. Um. Okay, is that all I'm gonna get here? <clears throat> Feels like I should get more. This five looking in is is interesting. I guess there's a five in one of these two. So we have the five and the seven. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, vertically now. So we're just gonna do the same kind of scanning, just vertically. So we have a nine in one of these two. We have these two fours looking up. So there's a four over here. These two eights look up, and this eight looks in, so there's an eight up here. We're getting a lot of marks, but not very many digits. We got this five, and that's all we got. Um, well, we'll see what happens. Any other repeats that I should know about? 
I don't think so. Um, okay, we're going to move on. We have three fives already. These two three, we have all the threes. How about four? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything of interest vertically here. That's weird. Okay, we'll move on. We have these two twos looking up, so there's a two here. Okay, well, I didn't find a whole lot. A lot of markings. So I'm going to look at for restricted cells. So the best way to look for restricted cells is to look for something like this row, where there's very few open cells left in the row. Row, column, box. You're looking for rows, columns, and boxes with... with um, very few empty cells in them. So this has three. So we know that it's down to three digits. So it's it's always going to be worth marking three. Um, so these can be one, six, and seven. Uh, this one sees here. This seven sees here. That's all we get of that. Um, I was seeing I was seeing this column here. I was interested in looking at that while we were scanning. So uh, this can be one, two, seven, and nine. Okay, I'm seeing this one and this seven. I think that's it. In fact, this can be all of them, which is uh, annoying. I don't even know if I want that mark, but I think I'll keep it because I don't have much going on. Hmm. Okay, this six looking in and this six looking up does, does put a six in one of these two. I missed that marking. Not that it's super helpful, but we'll keep it. Okay, any other restricted rows, columns, boxes? I'm seeing some with five. I don't think there's any left. Oh, so this one for pair is helpful because that leaves a triple here. So we can do that. We know the seven's over here. What else do we need? We have the one, the two, we need a three. We have the four, we need a five, and then we have six. We did the seven already, eight and nine. Ah, so this sees three and five. So this is a naked single seven because of this one four pair. So we can place that seven. That lets us place this six, the one, and the seven. Very nice. This six looks down. That uses up one of our corner marks. It removes one of the corner marks. And so now in this box, six can only go here because that was the last place we had a corner mark for six. We get a two nine pair here in this column. So this is the one and this is the seven because <clears throat> they couldn't be two or nine. Um, what else do we have going on here? I just got a bunch of digits, so I think I might need to rescan uh, those digits. Um, what do we learn here? Uh, got the five, got the seven, the one. Um. Well, let's look at some of these more restricted uh, rows, columns, boxes now, now that we have some place digits. So this box needs a four, five, seven, eight. All right, this can't be, okay, yeah, let's, let's fill it out because this can't be five or seven. So four, five, oh, the seven is placed. I just saw the seven looking in. All right, the seven is placed. I missed that. And then we have four, five, eight left up here. That's a triple. So that is going to help the rest of this row. So the rest of this row, we need uh, two, three. We have the four, five. So we need two, three, six, and nine. Do I know anything enough about that to be interesting? These two can't be three, yeah. All right, let's do two, three, six, nine. It's just that these can't be three and that can't be nine. Two, six, nine. Okay, so that actually does make a two, six, nine triple in this box. So that does a couple things. The most obvious thing is it means this is going to be a pair. So let's fill that. Um, so we have one, two, three. We need a four. Um, and we have five, six, seven. We need an eight. So this is a four, eight pair. But the other thing it does is in this two, six, nine triple, we know we're going to have to place a two, a six, and a nine, which is pretty obvious. But this can't be the six. So the six is going to end up here or here. Wherever it ends up, it means it's it's in one of these two, which means these can't be six. Because if these were six, if it, let's say we let's say this was a six, right? If that was a six, 
I'd have three two nines in this box and I wouldn't be able to place a six. It wouldn't work. So these can't be sixes. Um, now, does that help? We are going to need to place a six in this box somewhere, and that actually ends up here. That you that that took the place of where we had a nine corner mark. So now we want to scan our nine corner marks in this box. This is the only place for nine. Now this is the only place for three. These are not nines, so this is the nine for the box. That gives us this two. Um, I do know that this is a single. I was just following through on some other things. Uh, this is a two as well. Um, Let's see. I don't need these corner marks anymore. <laughs> All right, so there's four digits left in this box. We need a one, two, six, and nine. Um, I'm gonna fill it, but I'm not happy about it. Cause let's see. Let's let's look for like triples or something. Um. No, I don't. It feels like I should be able to find something here, but I, I don't see anything. So let's move on. Um, let's see. I just got a bunch of digits over here. Is there anything I can do with that? Surprisingly little. We do have these two. Okay. So this is actually going to be helpful because we have um, these sixes looking up and this six looks in. So this is a, uh, that, that corner mark six is up here, but that overlaps with our eights. And so that tells us that this is actually a hidden six, eight pair. These are the only two cells in the box that can be six or eight. So they must be six and eight. Um, so what do we do with that? Uh, that means the rest of this column is a pair at best. We need a two and a seven, and this can't be the two. So we get the seven and the two. That does a lot for twos. That places this two. This one nine pair means this is a six and that's a two. That's an eight and a six, two and a six, very nice. This is not a seven. Okay. Um, I think this row and this next row will be helpful. We need one, seven, and eight here. I'm noticing this eight looking in. I'm just gonna fill it, one, seven, eight. So we can clean that up a bit, but it doesn't resolve. So then this row, we need one, three, four, and nine. So nine in this row can only go here. So we have one, three, and four remaining. This can't be the one, it's only three, four. This can't be the four, so it's one, three. And I think this can be any of them. And then these four, we have the one, two. We need three, four, five, and uh, seven. Three, four, five, seven. So we know the five's over here. We knew that already. So actually, I think that's going to be helpful. So three, four, five, seven. Yeah. This sees three, five, and seven. That's what I thought. So that's a four. That's a three. That's a seven. That's an eight. That's a one. It finishes this whole box. All right. I think we are we're closing in on the solution here. Um, this felt shorter, I, we're actually um, over 13 minutes in, but that's all right. I'm taking my time. Um, this is now a single because we have this 3-5 pair. I'm sure it's just about plonking digits at this point. Um, so the remaining digits for this box are 2, 3, and 5. This can't be 2 or 3, so that's the 5. You can place all the digits. That's a 5, 4, and 5. That's a four. Yeah, we're just finishing. Okay, so this box needs a one. Uh, that goes there. Box needs a three. That goes there. We need a eight and nine. Those go there, and that should finish everything else. All right, cool. Pretty straightforward puzzle. I don't actually recall anything super difficult. Just um, the original, the normal scanning didn't get a whole lot at first, um, but then looking at the restricted rows and columns was pretty helpful. And then I recall this six, eight pair was interesting. I'm not sure how much it helped, but um, I think it, it did finish the rest of this column. I don't, do I remember like the two and the seven, I think, if I remember right. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward puzzle again today. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, <laughs>
why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.